Hello, my name's John from Moves Like Jaguar, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs and his adventures with Old Blue. Hit that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel, and enjoy this next video. Everybody, another early morning, just like every other morning. We're here, remember? From yesterday at the petrol pass, we woke up in the exact same spot we went to bed. How about that? Diesel! What are the chances, man? So it looks like it's gonna be a good day. It was a little chilly this morning. It's a little chilly, but that's okay. I'll forgive it. I'll forgive the day. Because we're picking up a load that's uh, gonna take us back home. I'm gonna pick up some lumber here. We're in Edson, Alberta which is uh, west of Edmonton, Alberta. I'll show you on the map, I'm sure. Hopefully I don't forget to put that in there. I have a 7 a.m. appointment, and I'm five minutes away, and it's 6.30. So I'm gonna mosey on over there, because I'm a little early, and uh, get loaded up as soon as we can. It'll be fun. That's why I got this on, because I, I gotta load right away, so they're definitely gonna want me to wear this. I'm probably gonna have to wear my brain bucket too, I bet you anything. She is. It's a load of lumber. It's headed to, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the town name. Oskiola, Oskiola, Iowa. Got your wood. Some solid, good Canadian wood. It's coming down here to Iowa. I'm gonna build stuff. I'm gonna help you build stuff. But I'm just taking it to our yard. I don't think I'm actually taking it to Iowa. So I wanna get going. We got an open house tomorrow. You guys gonna be there? Or are you guys there already or did you go? I guess by the time you see this, it might be over already. But uh, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., I'm planning on being there. I hope I make it back. By the looks of it, I'll probably just barely get there. But even if I'm a little bit late, whatever, 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., open house. I hope that it, uh, hope that it goes really well. It's open today as well on Friday, uh, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. I really hope they have a good turnout. I don't know, they put a lot of effort into it, and uh, I think it's gonna be good. There's gonna be food there and stuff. And Guess we'll see when we get there. All right, I am ready to rock and roll. Take me home, Karen. Don't screw up. You guys all ready? Come on, Karen, hurry up. I don't really need the GPS to get home, but the reason I always have the GPS going anyways is it shows me the distance to my destination, which gives me a, a better ETA. Alrighty. So this is a one way. I've got to turn right to turn left. This engine fan kicks up a lot of dust. I've noticed. So I try to idle across these lots, but as long as that engine fan is running, ooh, I just get a cloud of dust all around me. I gotta go right to go left. This is still Edson, Alberta, the town itself. We loaded just outside of town. Hey, you see that, Karen? Isn't this a lot easier? She wanted me to go like 15 kilometers that way and then turn around. There's a road right here. You have, you have one job, Karen, to know the roads. Why do I know the roads better than you? That's that's not right. It's like her knowing how to drive a truck more better than me. Never gonna happen. That boat makes me want to go fishing. All right, load of lumber for Iowa. You guys excited? Iowa, you excited? You're getting some lumber. It's on the way.
Now, since we have that open house tomorrow at 10 a.m., I don't have much time to uh, stop. So there won't be many breaks, just bathroom breaks on the way home, which is too bad because I really wanted to go for a walk and I've been really busy, really rushed. So I'll have to make up for it when I'm at home. Well, we got places to be. We have 1,578 kilometers to our, uh, our yard in Southern Manitoba. That's uh, just under 1,000 miles. Won't quite get there today. I can drive 13 hours today, legally in Canada. That'll get me probably between 12 and 1300 kilometers. So I'll have uh, an hour or two to drive tomorrow yet. Depending on if I drive a full day, I might get tired. As long as I get far enough that I can do the rest tomorrow, then uh, I just need to stop for my eight hour break and then we can keep going. Right, Diesel? That's right, man. Unless you want to drive, Diesel. You want to take over? I wouldn't mind taking a nap. I love naps. Oh, there's a Tim's right there. Are we allowed to park here? We're allowed to park there in front of Tim's? Wow. I wish I would have known that. I would have pulled in there then. I wouldn't mind a coffee. But I have a big truck right up my rear end. I don't want to make any sudden moves. He probably thinks that if he gets closer to me, I'll go faster than the speed limit. Nay, nay, that's not how it works. You come up close to me and you tailgate me, I go slower. That's the way that works. Pulled into the Edmonton Flying J just to grab a little something to eat. Of course it's raining again. I think that's just going to be the story of 2022 started off with heavy heavy snow heavy snow and then we're like but soon it will be warm and then it got warm and we were like yay and then it continued with heavy heavy rain we just can't win but at least it's warm this mac truck just parked beside me and this guy really likes mac trucks he's got the the mac dog on his mirror there and take a look at that little emblem on his hood i like that this little mac with a little little hard hat on <laughs> I'm gonna be getting a hood ornament for the front of my hood too. I'm kind of hoping to get one like custom made of diesel. I thought that'd be cool. But I gotta find a place that would do that and uh, see what it would look like, see if I would even like it. I don't know if I'd like it or not, but I'm gonna figure something out. 60 kilometer an hour maximum if you dare. I'm not even gonna do that. That's enough to break a window. Remember when I was in uh, the Peterbilt? Was it last year, year before? And uh, they had done both lanes, because here it's kind of nice, you know, they've only done one lane. Don't worry, Saskatchewan's gonna do the other lane too, and then just open up the highway. They had done this on the Trans-Canada. Uh, this is the Trans-Canada 16. They did it on the Trans-Canada 1. See, see, they're already putting gravel on that side. I told you they're gonna do both sides, they're doing it right here. They lay this like layer of tar down, and then they just dump gravel on it. This is a federal highway. Like, doesn't the federal government step in at some point and say, hey, 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 not in our name. Well, you can't really expect much from our federal government, so. Like, look at that, that's just, that is gonna shatter people's windows. And then for like a month, if not more, I know I sound like I'm complaining right now, because I am. <laughs> for a month, we're gonna have to like go for like 50 kilometer, 30 mile stretch at 40 kilometers an hour or like 25 miles an hour because you don't want to damage your vehicle. And then somebody like last time, you remember the story I was telling you on the Trans-Canada? Somebody who just doesn't care is gonna blow past you. And so even though you're being good and driving a proper speed limit for the road, somebody else sped past me, you remember that? And then they throw stones out and it actually blew out my driver's side window, like right beside me. And I don't wear glasses. That glass could have easily flown into my eye and I could have gone blind. Worst case scenario, right? Or maybe I had my mouth open and I was yawning right when it happened and I could have swallowed a piece of glass. Like, or I could have gotten cut. There's glass everywhere because some Yahoo out there decided he didn't want to go slow so he passed me on this stuff, blew up my window. And what do you tell insurance? Because. Insurance is gonna be like, well, you should have been more careful. 
Well, I was careful, the other guy wasn't. So now, insurance has to go and chase after the, the video cam, the, the dash cam footage, and if you don't have a dash camera, well, you're SOL, right? No one's gonna do anything. You're gonna have to just replace the window yourself, and if you have any health issues after that, too bad, right? I mean, we have healthcare here, but... I went on a little bit of a rant there, I understand. Hope you guys forgive me. I know there's gonna be comments complaining about my complaining now, so I'm already complaining about the complainers who are complaining about my complaining, who are also complaining about the last time I was complaining when I was complaining about them complaining. Wrap your head around that one. Here in Saskatoon again, we got an armored personnel carrier in front of us there. Uh, I think they call those coyotes. Probably being transferred from a base in Alberta to Quebec usually where they're going. They look a lot bigger up in person though, eh? When you see them in the videos of these things in action, or like training, they look a lot smaller out on the battlefield, but eh, it's a pretty big machine. Big and expensive. That's it, that's all for today, folks. It was a rush day to get back the next morning. Uh, we slept in uh, uh, Southern Saskatchewan the next morning. We just booked it back as fast as we could to get back for that open house, which actually turned out to be a great success. A lot of you guys showed up there. Thank you to all of you who showed up uh, to say hi. There was a bunch of new drivers that applied. That's really awesome. Uh, gonna join the team here at Keystone. Uh, it really turned out to be a good success on Saturday there. I was an hour late. I showed up at 11. And uh, I want to apologize because a couple of you have shown up to meet me before and I was also late then. Because now. <laughs> so I don't want to make that a habit. It's not like I did that on purpose. But uh, I showed up at 11 instead of 10. And uh, thanks for hanging around, anyways, and waiting for me. I appreciate that. It's trucking, right? Not much I can do about it, I guess, sometimes. But I did my best and I was pretty tired. <laughs> but we got there. So thanks for watching today, everybody. We're gonna go home for the weekend. Uh, it's Father's Day weekend, and by the time you watch this, it'll already be over. So happy belated Father's Day to all you fathers out there. I hope you had a great weekend and enjoyed the hot weather. I don't know how it was where you were, but in Manitoba, we were melting. It was 40 degrees outside, it was like 100 and something Fahrenheit. I don't know. It was about the surface of the sun, but it was a great weekend. And we'll see you in our next video. That should be out tomorrow, or maybe later today trying to see if I've caught up or not because I've been trying to catch up this whole this last trip was so rushed right so I, I didn't have time to edit every night so I'm catching up now I think I'm caught up oh no I got one more from yesterday you might get another one later today or two tomorrow
I don't know, I'm, I'm trying my best here, guys. I gotta get into a new rhythm. I'm in old blue now, so uh, I've got a new lifestyle to get used to here, and I've gotta find my rhythm, and uh, we'll get there yet, we'll get there. I try to have a video out every day for you, so don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Or later today. <laughs> I don't know, I'll be back. I'll be right back.